I'm James. James Freeman. You don't get the right to complete a record. You don't need to talk anymore. You're done. This is this is my office, not your. It's my office. I think I can hear you guys. Welcome to the John Legato Show. I'm John Legato. Tuesday, November 3rd at the New Mexico State Ethics Commission in Albuquerque, New Mexico. The New Mexico State Ethics Commission is an independent state agency that promotes the integrity of state government. Now, why would James Freeman be at the New Mexico State Ethics Commission? Meet Executive Director Jeremy D. Ferris. Jeremy has an impressive looking resume including a law degree from Harvard Law School, a doctorate and master's degree from the University of Oxford where he was a Rhodes Scholar. But recent court documents accuse him of retaliating against citizens for free speech. On September 3rd, 2024, I went to the State Ethics Commission office to ask some questions about how they conduct their business and to file a complaint myself on Mr. Jeremy. Rather than getting the information I needed and filing my complaint, I was bullied by Walker Boyd, the attorney for the Ethics Commission. It's 215 down this way? Yeah. Okay. okay. Ethics Commission? Oh, okay, yeah. Um, if you don't mind me asking, what are you filming for? What's that? If you don't mind me asking, what are you filming for? Oh, uh, because I have to. Here we go. Freeman uh, believes himself to be clever, but actually he's a sleazy, conceited worm. Oh, uh, because I have to. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Hello. Is Jeremy here? Uh, he's not. Oh, where'd he go? I think he's out of town. I'm not sure where Jeremy is. Is he? Okay. Um, Walker's a, yeah. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, what's that going to mean? Uh, just wanting to check out some things in here. and. What's your name? James. Are you filming? What's that? Are you filming right now? Yeah. Okay, uh, and who are you with? Um, just myself. Okay. Um, I just want to do a little bit of an investigation. A favorite auditor tactic that they bestow on themselves professional uh, titles like investigator, journalist, or reporter. But at this point, any government employee should inform any investigator to contact the state attorney general of New Mexico. Because if auditors want to claim to be conducting an investigation, then employees have a Fifth Amendment right. But they always somehow continue the dialogue. Okay. Um, I just want to do a little bit of an investigation. You guys yeah. are, uh, this is an organization that's about openness and transparency in government. Is mm -hmm. that right? Uh, I think I'm going to have to ask you to have a seat here real quick, and then we'll see if you can tell the offices. Can you sit right there, please? All right, so you're just filming the front of the office? Oh, I'm doing an investigation. Okay. Um, well, go ahead and take a card, and then I would just ask you to give us a call if you need to schedule an appointment, all right? I Well, for fairness, openness, and transparency, I kind of wanted to do an impromptu investigation, if that's all right. Yeah, our offices are not open. This part of the office is not open to the public. Oh, really? No. How come? You need to have an appointment. An appointment only? Yeah. Okay. You can come to the office. You can drop something off. Do you have any business to conduct here? Yeah, can you tell me? It, but you need to leave if you're, you don't have business con to conduct. I, I do have business to What's conduct. Your business? So I'd like to know what uh, this commission does. Government offices have specific purposes, and they can limit the public's access to that purpose. They can also require appointments under time, place, and manner. That's all right. Yeah, our offices are not open. This part of the office is not open to the public. Oh, really? No. How come? You need to have an appointment. An appointment only? Yeah. Okay. You can come to the office. You can drop something off. Do you have any business to conduct here? Yeah. Can you tell me? It, but you need to leave if you're you don't have business to conduct. I, I do have business to What's conduct. Your business. So I'd like to know what uh, this commission does. That's that's not business, sir. Okay. Um, so you don't want to tell me what this 
commission does. I'm happy to answer your questions, but I need you to state your business. Well, right now my business is that I would like to know what this commission does, what the, well, why so it exists. We've got our website on the card. There you can visit the website. You can give us a call. <clears throat> you can send us an email. Okay. Can I get a piece of paper? Or no. no. Or I'll write it down here. I'm going to do an open records request then while I'm sure. here. You can't give me a piece of paper, though? No. No. Freeman can be a smooth-talking uh, con artist, but can turn Rottweiler mean in a nanosecond. Let's watch a video of him in Brownsville, Texas. Hi, can I help you? Uh, she's, I think she's getting me what I need. I was supposed to be doing an investigation out here today. But, oh, actually, it was supposed to be yesterday, but I'm so late getting down here. An investigation for what? Um... It's, well, it's, it's an open investigation. So okay. I don't, on, on what? Um, on the, uh, the city and the police department. Okay. Well, um, I can't have you filming in with sensitive area inside my dispatch room. Like, like that? Yeah, or? yeah, exactly like that. So if you want to film officers or whatever when they're doing their job outside, as long as you keep a safe distance, I don't have a problem with that. But I can't have you coming in here because there's vital information in there filming. Like right there? Yeah, exactly. Like if right you there. touch me... Okay, sir, I'm going to have... You're going to leave. Do you understand me? Why? Because I just asked you to leave. You can't ask me to leave. Okay. Get your supervisor. Did, did he get it's what, a public lobby. Did he get what he hey, needed? it's a public lobby. Calm down, de-escalate, put your hands do down. Put your hands email? down. Okay, so I need to do an open records request. Put your hands okay, down. Well, Calm down, okay, de-escalate. Stop yelling. Open records Don't be disorderly. Closed. Freeman's auditor script is uh, old and tired. I'm an investigator. I'm investigating you. And when that don't fly, he punched to an open records request. Now, this didn't work in Brownsville, Texas. Because I just asked you to leave. You can't ask me to leave. Okay. Get your supervisor. Did, did he get it's a what, public lobby. Did he get what he hey, needed? It's a public lobby. Calm down, de-escalate, put your hands do down. Put your email? hands down. Okay, so I need to do an open records request. Put your hands okay, down. Well, Calm down. Open, De well, Stop yelling. Open records Don't be disorderly. Closed. Don't be disorderly. By state law, I can give an open records request to any okay, public employee at any time. Today, Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. It's after 5. Okay, well, I'm working with her. Okay, she's done. Are we, is he done? Okay, Is this supervisor here? I am the supervisor. Let's go. Don't touch me. Outside. Why are you pushing me? Get out. You got cameras in there? Going to jail. jail? Yeah. So if I don't leave, I'll go to jail? Go. No, I don't want to go to jail. Well, let's get back to the uh, New Mexico State Ethics Commission, where Freeman used the identical script. I just want to do a little bit of an investigation. Oh, I'm doing an investigation. Okay. Can I get a piece of paper? Or no. no. Or I'll write it down here. I'm going to do an open records request then. Why are you being so rude to me? You might want to just call the police because I'm not leaving. It's a public building, public no, access. No, this, no, this is not, this is not, it's not a public forum, sir. Yeah, no, sir. They allowed me in, and, and, I've got, and I've got secret recordings of other people being allowed in here, so I know it is public. Mm -hmm. It's not public, sir. Well, then why'd you let me in? Property. What's that? Uh, they still consider private property. These guys. As long as it's leased by the government, it's open to me. It's still private. No, sir, that's not true. Is it leased by the government? I'll tell you what. Uh, no, I will leave. Property is leased by the government. Doesn't mean it's public. Yeah, I know. You don't know much. That's why you're being sued. That's all right. So um, I'm, I'm trying to fill out this request. He's making me really nervous, though. I'm sure that you know that. You well, maybe you, you keep interrupting. You keep interrupting. I can legally do it by state law right here in person in writing and you're trying to bully me and intimidate me why do you keep interrupting me it doesn't matter what your policy says it matters what the law says you have a lot of policies some of your policies say that you can extort people Frauditors contend that local governments can't make policies limiting access to their buildings but the supreme court said otherwise they clarified the supremacy clause of the constitution by allowing local governments to restrict access based on time, place, and manner. The New Mexico State Ethics Commission's manner and time of doing business is by appointment only. It doesn't matter what your policy says, it matters what the law says. 
So I'm going to do my open records request. Please stop trying to bully and intimidate me so I can focus on what I'm doing. Don't speak again. Maybe you can make don't, it, maybe you can don't speak again. The, don't, the don't, don't speak again. Don't, you don't, don't, speak don't, don't speak again. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, what's up, boss? You don't, get the right to complete your right. you don't need to talk anymore. You're done. This is, this is my office, not your It's family. my office. Yeah. Who pays you? Once and for all. All government buildings are legally designated as property of another, meaning that no one person owns it by virtue of paying taxes. This is, this is my office, not your It's family. my office. Yeah. All right. So am I not allowed to do an open records request here then by state law, even though state no, law says I can't? Was, see see, how he, keeps, see how he keeps interrupting? Well, you I'm, see how he is? I'm the person who is... See how you are? You see how you are? You're more than welcome to fill out a public records request. Okay, thank you. And, and you know that by state law, I can. You're refusing to leave. And, and by state law, I can sit here and fill out the no, public you records have to, request. You have to conduct your business here and then leave. I'm, this is not a public forum. This is not a public forum. Wow. This goes to the very heart of auditors' legal arguments. What constitutes a public forum, non public forum, or limited public forum? The, the issue that we're dealing with is citizen journalism at, at, at the most basic level. And that leads to their desired, in most cases, police-citizen conflict for their YouTube videos. There is Supreme Court framework, a Supreme Court framework for dealing with this. It's called um, public forum doctrine. Which permits local government to set conditions on access inside their buildings. And by state law, I can sit here and fill out the no, public records you request. You have to conduct your business here and then leave. I'm this is not a public forum. Conducting my business here, so. So there didn't need to be anything. It's just a records request, and this guy's got his panties all over. Yeah, you yeah, cannot yeah, stop yeah. interrupting, can you? Your mother did not slap you enough as a child. Okay. Jesus. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Request wherever you like, sir. You have, you have to conduct your business here, whatever business you have. In this isn't a public forum for you to engage in, in, in whatever speech you like and disrupt our, our agency's business. <clears throat> I don't believe you're actually working on your records request, sir. I think you're coming up with an excuse to stay when you have no business here. All right, there's two. I just got one left. Just write and get out of here? Yeah. Sure. Please complete your business. Shut up. Do you understand me? Please complete your business. All right. Well, I've got 30 records requests to do, so I'm going to be here until closing. Just make sure I got... Uh, I've invited... Uh, this gentleman can finish his public records request. He says he's filling one out now, but once he's finished with his legitimate business at, at the State Ethics Commission, uh, he needs to leave. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, so I can do the records request now? I've asked you to complete your business and then leave. You earlier refused to leave and said that you wouldn't leave until the end of the, I'm done, until the end. Well, of I told you, I told you I've got 30 records. Leave. I've got 30 records requests to do. You said you had three. I'm letting you finish your third and then you're no longer invited Well, here. then, you know what just happened is actually I'm live now and there's people on the live feed that actually wanted me to do another 60 records requests. So... You can submit those uh, via email at your company. So, we'll, uh, we'll be here a while, folks. What's going on here is that he's, he's deliberately taking time to finish okay. his request so that he doesn't have to leave. Okay, but you don't have a form or anything? We do, have a form. We do and we have an email address that okay. you can also submit requests to. Do you, would you like a form? I'd rather do it in person, and as per New Mexico state law, I can do that. Okay. And so I know that... You can submit a request. Okay, which... You can't get a word in without this guy can't, just can't, jumping over the top our, of you. He can't use our office as his own personal office to write down his own requests <clears throat> Okay. Well, day. And like we I said, we have to move to other business. We have, there are other employees here trying to get right. work done. We right. can't get it done with him here yeah. yelling at us and, and filming us and, right. and trying to get back behind this desk. Well, did that happen? His, his quote unquote investigation throughout did, the office. Did that happen? Did I try to go past that desk? I had to instruct the security guard to acknowledge you. Did I try to go past that desk? Yes. Well, they finally get Freeman to leave. Well, Sorry that Nancy boy was such a Karen and had to call you. But not as quick and decisive as this cop. I am the supervisor. Let's go. Don't touch me. Outside. Why are you pushing me? Get out. You got cameras in there? 
Go jail? Yeah. So if I don't leave, I'll go to jail? Go. No, I don't want to go to jail. James Friedman, definitely a one-trick pony who uses his born script of, I'm an investigator. And when that fails, he defaults to a public record request just to keep up and maintain his presence to insult and bait conflict. Freeman is a nitrogenous piece of waste and is of no worth to society. Now that's my opinion. What's yours? John Legato's show is being broadcast from outside the gates of Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune in beautiful North Carolina. If you like the show, uh, hit share, hit like. Semper Fidelis.